Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see how to prevent sensitization in austenitic stainless steel. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. How to prevent it? You know, we saw the problems of sensitization. Now, how? So, Amar is saying solution handling, right? But see, after all the component is made, doing the solution handling is very, you know, exhaustive process because we have to heat at 1050, 1060 degrees Celsius for solution handling. Okay. What are the other ways? How we can take care of sensitization? Okay. So, there are several methods. We'll talk about them one by one. So currently, we are going to see the first method to avoid sensitization. Okay. Now this is a graph, and it uh, indicates that if uh, let us see if I am uh, heating any component of stainless steel. Okay, I am going from zero to a certain temperature, right? So I'm following this orange curve. I'm uniformly trying to heat it. So if I'm doing that, this is my sensitization. The gray color is a sensitization zone. So my uh, time with this zone is very high, right? So if I can reduce this time during heating or cooling, that will give me the advantage. So if that sensitization temperature is only coming during your, you know, uh, uh, in the operation only once because it is coming either by uh, during heating or by cooling. Okay, so that time for that zone we can increase the heating rate only for that zone. Okay, we'll do the fast heating, fast cooling, so that it will get less time to make chromium carbide. Okay, good solution. If it is not, this 450 to 500 is not an operating temperature, then this may work. Okay, but again, for welding, it will not work because we have to weld it. There will be heat affected zones. They are, it is going to be sensitization. Okay, here also we are just trying to minimize, you know, maybe half duration we did. So, half percentage of chromium carbide may become half okay than this but still it is there okay so a solution but not very effective it may work for you know if we have very less uses at that temperature now what to do if what is the other method where we can you know provide snow so for that let us discuss about the second method. Okay. So, why sensitization is, ha is happening? Because carbon is combining with chromium and consuming the chromium elements, right? What I can do is that I'll reduce the carbon. I'll use low carbon grade. And what is that? 304L. Okay, we already discussed that in 304 we have 0.08 percent carbon, or 304L we have 0 0.03. So if less carbon is available, if we have less carbon available, we have less reaction, right? Less carbon will deplete and it will become free to combine with chromium. So the reaction will reduce down okay so we can minimize sensitization by using 304 l grades you know low carbon grades but then strength of these will become lower than compared to type 304 right so that is the second solution still we are minimizing not you know, completely avoiding you know, what can be the further solution, what can be the third method of 
reducing sensitization or controlling it. Now we'll talk about the third air titanium on CV, correct? So we will use stabilizing element. Okay, and these stabilizing elements are titanium and columbium, which is now called niobium. Both are same element, columbium and niobium. So Ti and Cb. Okay, or we you can call it as Nb. Okay. So we use sensitize uh, stabilizing element and what are these elements what they do actually so this titanium is having very good affinity towards carbon okay it will react with carbon even before chromium combines okay it has greater affinity so at 450 temperature when carbon becomes free titanium will react and form a compound titanium carbide Okay, and titanium carbide is not like dust, it is strong material. Okay. So it is having multiple effects. First of all, your chromium is not getting consumed. So your behavior of the steel or stenitic stainless steel is still stainless. The behavior is maintained. The grain which was formed, which was having very low strength, that is eliminated. Okay. So what grade we got with adding titanium as a stabilizing element? 321. Okay, Titanium is a costly material. So the cost of 321 is also very high. So if we talk about cost, if 304, cost if we take as 1, then 321 will be roughly 1.6 times. Okay. So that will be the difference. Now, if we talk about the second columbium or niobium, both are same element that will form NBC and this grade is called 347. Now, niobium is even more effective than titanium. It has more or reaction wise, it's more reactive to carbon even than titanium very reactive it has very great affinity towards carbon so it will react very fast with carbon form a compound nbc which is strong now your chromium is intact like earlier and you have sensitization free still even at those temperatures and that stabilized steel is called 347 okay now this 347 because of niobium it's even more costlier than titanium because nb is even costlier yes nb is even costlier than titanium so if cost wise it will 304 is if it is one then it will become roughly 1.8 to two times the cost of 304 okay making it pretty costly okay but if our operation is at that temperature and we don't have any other option this material is what we have to use okay so i hope you got the understanding now the fourth point like you know i think akash or someone told about amar he told about solution annealing so if we do solution annealing of this ss material it will completely erase all the history like if it has been sensitized and if we do solution annealing after that again the carbon and chromium both will you know detach with each other and it will dissolve again the stainless steel will uh, erase all the history of previous heat treatments and problems it will become completely fresh material okay so by doing solution analyzing, uh, annealing also, we can eliminate all that problem and it will become as fresh as new material. Okay. But solution analyzing, annealing is a process which is done at 1050, 1060 degrees Celsius temperature. Okay. So it's a critical process. So that is the fourth method which you can have to prevent sensitization. Okay. I hope. You understood this part. 
Stay tuned for more videos, related to, materials requirements.